I got a funny story for that. So that summer, Katie's, we, it was what, July 1st, whatever. I think maybe three, four weeks after that, uh, Drake was performing at Oracle. So we go to the concert and it's one of those like situations where stage is up here. We're kind of back here in like the little VIP section, whatever. It's like me and Draymond. I think Katie was there. Um, we're all kind of just, I mean, nobody, nobody, nobody knows we're there, but it's not like a big deal. It's just freaking Drake. So Drake's performing and he gets on this, uh, like, I don't even know what's like a, uh, a lift that takes him around the arena so he can kind of see the fans and have that moment. <clears throat> so as he's going around, he sees us down there, but he doesn't really acknowledge it. He goes past and he's like, Oh, we're in Oracle Arena. It's crazy. Y'all the champs. Knows was a tough year. Man, y'all got, y'all got Steph, Draymond, KD now. Oh, uh, uh, number 11. <laughs> <laughs> so we all start laughing. It was like, he, he was just in the moment. My brother was with us. So Seth's with us. And after we get in the car on the way home, he's like, man, man, y'all cheating. Cause <laughs> the fact that Drake didn't know Clay's name. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, y'all had so many names. <laughs> that was my favorite. Like, Seth just acknowledging that, like, that vibe that you talking about with Spencer. He's like, bro, the fact that he went through the whole roster and got to uh, Clay was like, uh, <laughs> number 11 is like game six. That's point. amazing. <laughs> I was laughing. As always, thank you for listening to the show. Please subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Wondery, wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh, we appreciate you guys. 